and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and this is the first video that I am filming in my new apartment and I am so excited. The lighting is a lot better, the background is already a lot better, I have so much space to move around in and I am obsessed with it. You'll probably see the background change a little bit like the stuff on the desk because this is just temporary. Other stuff I've ordered online for it hasn't come yet so I just threw these on. So yeah, you'll probably see that change. But Today's video is exciting because it's a highly requested one and that is to do another cheapest item on a designer website. So today we are going to go into Hermes together to buy the cheapest item. So Hermes is pretty much known for their iconic Birkin bags and Kelly bags and even the packaging that all of their items come in. It's that gorgeous orange packaging that I really hope we will get with these. So yeah, without further ado, let's go onto the website, find the cheapest item and hope to the gods, to the fashion gods, that is not too expensive. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, I have my laptop here, so I'm gonna move over so that this side of the screen is what I'm seeing on my laptop. So we are on the Hermes website. They are showing the Gorge Autumn to Winter 2019 runway show, love that. So let's firstly go in to women. So this is just obviously, we're not the cheapest item, but it'll give us a rough idea of how much stuff on Hermes normally costs. All right, these are all of the looks. So let's find one that I would actually like. Oh, that's it, okay. Um, from this collection, I think I like look six the most. Um, and let's see how much it costs. Oh my gosh. The coat is $6,160. That's Aussie dollars. And the pants are $3,175. Yikes. Let's hope there's something a lot, a lot, a lot cheaper than that. Um, let's look at shoes. So the cheapest shoes that they have is actually a shoe brush for $155 Aussie dollars. I'll add it to my cart because that's the cheapest item right now, but hopefully there's something cheaper than a brush for your shoes for $155, especially because um, my shoes aren't fancy enough to need a brush. So. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll find something a little bit cheaper. Let's look at the accessory section. So it's usually this sort of area that has the cheapest stuff, but the cheapest accessory is $180 for a handkerchief. How much was the shoe brush? Oh, not the cheapest item. We're still stuck with the shoe brush, which honestly, for me, a handkerchief is about as useful as a shoe brush. I mean, do people still use handkerchief? Let's look at home. That could have some cool stuff. That's cheap. Let's go textiles. Oh, there's something cheaper! Yay! So for 80 Aussie dollars, we can get a labyrinth square towel. Do I want to spend 80 dollars on a towel? No. Do I prefer it to a shoe brush? Yes. So let's add that to the cart. 80 bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. But we might be able to do better. Let's look at fragrances. They could be the cheapest item because I feel like fragrances from designer brands are usually fairly cheap. Well, not cheap, but you know, they're not like a thousand dollars. So let's see. The cheapest fragrance is $220. Well, I just ate my words, didn't I? <laughs> Definitely not cheap. Oh, but that was only for the one collection. So let's go through these other ones quickly and see if there's anything cheaper. There's a lotion for $105. Oh, there's something cheaper. Yes. Okay. So there is soap. <laughs> a bar of soap for $40. Um, a lot of money for a soap, I must say, but it has more use to me than a shoe shiner does. Oh, there's two options as well. Do I want the circle soap or the big one? I think I want the circle one because this is Hermes Paris on it. So let's add to cart. You best believe that if this is the cheapest item, this soap is never getting used. It's going to be on display in my bathroom. Like <laughs> Everyone that comes over will be like, hello, welcome. This is my designer soap. Please don't use it. It's not to wash your hands. <laughs> All right, let's keep looking, see if there is anything cheaper. Let's go into reading and writing. Let's look at books and see what the cheapest item is. Oh my God, there's one for $20. Okay, let's sort low to high and let's see what it is. Okay, $20. There are some $20 sketchbooks. There's four to choose from. Uh, we love having options. Hermes drawing pad of Philippe Dumas, Dumais sketchbook, new edition, French version with an English text insert. 40 pages, 20 quadrimary illustrations. That's cool. Oh, these are gorge pictures. Okay, I think I've narrowed it down that I want this one, the La Flannerie. 
Is that how you say it? Uh, probably not, but that's how I'm gonna say it. Okay, let's stop with the bullshit French accent. So, it is this cool little sketchbook, and I really like it because I love the sketches of like the vintage horse and carriages. I think they are gorgeous. If the book is big enough, which I mean, I'm guessing it's just like a normal book size, then I could use those to frame. I think I'd look really cool, like some olden day pictures in a frame. So, I love that. Let's add it to the cut and I will check out. There is an option on there for, to make it a gift and that way you can leave a note and I have left one so I'll have to wait a few days to see what that is but I'm very happy that the cheapest thing was $20. Yes, we've had a win. I am very excited for this book to arrive and I think this could possibly be the best one so far when buying the cheapest item from luxury websites. So I will see you guys in a few days when this one arrives. Alright, it is only two days later and the package has arrived. Really, really fast shipping. I was very shocked that it arrived so quickly. But that is very exciting because I am excited to see what this book looks like. So let's open it up. There's definitely a scent <laughs> wafting from the inside. This is what we have, just a cardboard box. And then we also have this cute little folder that just says Hermes of Paris. And then there is the little letter slash card that I left for myself. This is the front. I don't know. As you can see, it has the gorge Hermes detailing. And then if we open it up, it says, Dear Annalise, always dress like you're going somewhere better later. Love, Annalise. Have true words of wisdom ever been spoken? Thank you, and that is what it looks like. Honestly, I think I'm gonna hang this up somewhere. Maybe for now, you can go there. That looks cute, but I think in my entryway, if you guys have seen my apartment tour, that I'm gonna put that there, because I love that bit of Hermes card. But that is not what we are here for. Let's open this up and see what the cheapest item on Hermes looks like. All right, and if we open it up, there's just some wrapping paper oh and then it looks like they have wrapped it up oh this is so pretty this is honestly my favorite parts of these videos feeling like i'm super fancy because it comes with all the fancy stuff so it has the little amaze stickers sticking it all together let's open it up i don't want to rip those because they are so beautiful stop oh my goodness we have the little orange bag this is amazing I definitely need to take an Instagram pic with this because I mean, when am I again gonna have the gorge orange bag? This is what people get their Birkins in. So this is oh, gorgeous. Look at it, just, just take it all in. But I'm gonna go take a photo with this because I mean, how gorgeous. And I will be right back. I'm back, I took a few gorge pics for Instagram. If you wanna check it out, be sure to follow me on Annalise Wood with the two E's. But now let's... Undo the ribbon, which uh, I sort of want to do. It's just so beautiful. Ah! Uh, and let's open up the orange envelope. Oh wow, this is really tiny. <laughs> and this is the cheapest item on Hermes. Let's take off the plastic. And this is what it looks like. Ta-da! We have this tiny little book. Now I must say I did not expect it to be so small. My plan was to actually maybe rip out some of these pages and frame them, but it might be a bit small for the frames I had in mind, but that's okay. So let's open it up. So it just has a little information pack about what this book is. Then it has some beautiful pictures. I mean, the pictures are gorgeous. Love those. Oh my goodness, it's all in French. This is actually good because my French over the years has deteriorated. So maybe trying to read this will help me out a lot. But it's just full of a bunch of different pictures and drawings. I love these. So this sort of thing I would have loved to have framed. But I don't really know what I'm going to do with this book. I definitely have to put it on display somewhere because, I mean, it's Hermes. Maybe I can put it with my Balenciaga book. I mean, I'm getting a lot of these books that I don't really know what to do with. So, yeah, that is the cheapest item on our maze and I don't know how I feel about it I think I would have preferred the soap but at the same time the soap would have been gone in like you know a couple of months couple of weeks I don't know how long does a bar of soap last whereas this will be around forever and I think if I can figure out a really cute way to display it in my apartment it will look gorgeous so if you have any ideas please let me know down below because I'm definitely open to that and with that that is the end of today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it and that you love this new setting I am in love with it it is so much nicer to film in so I 
really hope you guys like it too and that the lighting's a lot better, which I mean, I already know that it is. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my face or what the heck I end up doing with this little book, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links as always are on the screen right now and also linked down below. And if you are interested in more like apartment stuff, I do have a vlog channel where I'll be vlogging all about that. That is Annalise's Life and it will also be linked below. And that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I will see you next time. Bye.